on guys, this is Charlie Life Fitness and today we're going to be covering weight loss. Now, I wasn't going to be doing a topic on weight loss just yet, but a lot of people have like commented on my videos, DM'd me saying, hey Charlie Life Fitness, um, I need to lose weight, what should I do? And the first thing I said, alright, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that must be about weight loss and they must be good videos. And so I went on to YouTube and I typed in weight loss 101 or something like that. And I clicked on the first couple of videos and they really weren't showing you the basics of how weight loss works and the mechanics of it and how you can actually lose weight. It was just crazy to think that all these videos with these people with, that have millions of subscribers make these weight loss videos and they really don't get to the basics and they don't give you exactly what you need to know. And so this whole video is going to be dedicated about showing you guys how weight loss actually works and how you go about doing it. So stick around and make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. I'm not going to scream this time because I don't want any of my new subscribers to get startled or anything. I wouldn't want to do that to you guys. So just make sure you guys go and click the subscribe button down below. Let's get started and get right into the video. Calories. Weight loss is all about the amount of calories you consume a day. Now I understand a lot of people will come up to me and be like, hey Charlie, I was eating 1500 calories a day and somehow I'm not losing weight. So guys, everyone on the earth has an amount of calories that they expend a day. The average being 2000 calories. You've probably heard um, on nutrition labels, uh, if you look in the back, it says like based on a 2000 calorie diet. So the average person expends about 2000 calories a day. It could be differing for you. I'll put a calculator down in the description so you guys can calculate a rough estimate of how many calories you burn a day. Now, once you go down in the description and click on the calculator and see how many calories you burn a day, we're going to talk about how you could use that to help you lose weight. So let's say you went to the calculator, put in your height, your weight, uh, your activity level and stuff like that. And let's say it spit out that you should be burning about 1800 calories a day, right? So let's say that you burn 1800 calories a day and you're trying to lose weight. So what are we going to do about that? Let's say that you burn 1800 calories a day and I'm going to be taking you guys step by step. So I will make sure you guys will all by the end of this video know how to lose weight. So let's say that on average you burn 1800 calories a day, right? So with this number, you probably be like, Charlie, how am I going to lose weight just knowing that number 1800? Well, it's actually very simple. If you were to eat, Anything above 1,800 calories a day, you will see yourself gain weight. If you eat anything below 1,800 calories a day for like an extended period of time, you're going to see yourself lose weight. That's how weight loss works. If you eat more calories than you expend, which in this case is 1,800 for this specific person, you're going to gain weight. If you eat under 1,800 calories, for this specific person, you're going to lose weight. That's how weight loss works. And if you were to eat approximately 1800 calories every single day, you wouldn't see any weight difference. Obviously there could be a little bit of variance depending on stuff like your salt intake for the day, which could lead to more water retention in your body. If we're not including that stuff, this is the only way that weight can change. Next, I want to clarify how much weight you could possibly lose. So now you would probably be like, oh, well, what happens if I eat 1,850 calories or 1,801 calories. Am I going to gain weight as much as if I ate 2,000 calories or something like that? If there's another big thing that you guys also need to know about weight loss, and that's how many calories are in a pound. And there are approximately 3,500 calories in a pound. Now, let's say you were at 1,800 calories a day. That's how much you burned a day. And you weigh 2,000 calories a day. That means you will be in a caloric surplus of 200 calories. That means you're eating 200 calories more than your body expends a day, meaning that you will gain weight pretty slowly. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what the weight gain would look like if you were to be in a calorie surplus of 200 calories for an extended period of time. Okay guys, so this is a little chart I made. Let's say that you guys were burning 1800 calories a day. Let's stay with that example. So your amount of calories that you expend a day is about 1800 calories, right? Now let's say we were eating 2,000 calories a day. I don't know if you guys could see that, but 1,800 and 2,000. That means you would be in a caloric surplus of 200 calories each day, right? So we know that 3,500 calories are in a pound. So if you were to eat a surplus of 200 calories every single day for a week, that would be 200 times seven, which would be 1,400 calories. That means you'd be in a surplus of 1,400 calories that week. Okay? 
So that means the next week would be the, the absolute same because you were eating in this calorie surplus of 200 calories. So you would gain another 1400 calories um, of a surplus. That means in those two weeks, you would gain a total of 2,800 calories. Okay. So we know that there's 3,500 calories in a pound. So in those two weeks, you almost gained a pound. Okay. That's how weight loss works. So you were in a surplus for two weeks, right? So you, the first week you gained 1400 um, calories because you were in the surplus. And then the next week you also gained the same because you were eating the same and you gained another 1400. And so in total, 2,800 calories in two weeks, which is almost a pound. So basically at this rate, you were almost gaining a half a pound a week. Just so you guys get this into your head, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to go over it. So we have over here, 1800 calories is the amount you consumed a day, right? And you ate 2000 calories that day and for the next two weeks. That means you would be in a calorie surplus of 200 calories. That means each week you would be in a, cal a weekly calorie surplus of 1400 calories. And the next week you would be in another weekly surplus of 1400 calories and would come out to a two week calorie surplus of 2800 calories. Now we know that there's 3500 calories in a pound and you ate 2800 calories surplus. So you almost gained a pound. Okay, does that make sense? And over time, obviously this would keep adding up and you'd go over, so in four weeks, it would be at 5,600 calories. So you'd be over a pound. You'd be at like a pound and a half. And then over time and over time and over time, if you ate in that 200 calorie surplus, you just keep gaining weight. And this could be one of the main causes of obesity in America because a lot of people will be like, oh, well, I'm not eating that much. Because even if you're eating 1,900 calories, which is only 100 calories over the amount you would be burning a day, that would still over time add up to pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds. Okay guys, so in this next example, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we could do it in the other direction, how to lose weight. And I also wanna cover something else, which is exercise. And does that really have a huge effect on helping you guys lose weight? So here it is, how to lose weight. Let's say you were burning, I'm gonna go over this very, very slowly because I really want you guys to understand this. Let's say we were eating 1800 calories a day, right? And we dropped our calories to 1500 calories a day. That means that we'd be in a caloric deficit of 300 calories each day, right? Because we're eating 300 calories less than the amount we burn, okay? As if we have a 300 calorie deficit, that means weekly, because we're gonna have to times it by seven, we're gonna be in a 2100 calorie deficit. And over two weeks, it's gonna be a 4200 calorie deficit. If you're wondering where I got that from, I took 2100 from the first week and 2100 from the second week and I just added them, okay? So, we were in a calorie deficit of 4200 calories over the course of two weeks. Now, 3500 calories we know from before is the amount of calories that are in a pound approximately. So, if we had 4200 calories over the course of two weeks, if we were in that kind of deficit, we know that there's 3500 calories in a pound. So, that means that we lost over a pound in those two weeks. That, lo that means that we lost a little over half a pound in those two weeks. Cool. Now you guys know how weight loss works. If you don't understand that, rewatch that again. Like rewatch it as many times as you want to because this is like literally how it works. The only real way to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit. It's actually impossible to lose weight if you were in anything other than a caloric deficit. That's just how it works. Oh, there's one last thing I want to talk about, which is will exercise help me lose weight also? And do I have to be in a caloric deficit if I exercise a lot? Well, let's go over that right now. This one's just a little bit more complicated because we have to throw in another number into the mix. Now guys, I'm not a big advocate of using exercising as a primary tool for weight loss. Your caloric consumption should always be the first thing you should look at when trying to lose weight. I'm gonna go back to the example of the person that was burning 1800 calories a day. Now let's say she was eating 1800 calories a day, right? So what would happen if she was eating the same amount as she was expending? That means that she would be not gaining weight, not losing weight. She would be staying approximately the same weight. If you ate about 1800 calories for a whole year, you wouldn't gain weight because you're burning the same amount that you're eating. Now let's say that you threw in some extra exercise and you went to the gym Let's say you walked on the treadmill for an hour. What that does is it bumps up the amount of calories 
that you burn a day up. So let's say you exercise, you walked for an hour on the treadmill and you burned a total of 200 calories extra, right? That would mean that your total caloric expenditure would go from 1800 calories all the way to 2000 calories. Now, if you were still consuming that 1800 calories a day, that means now you would be losing weight. You'd be in a deficit of 200 calories, right? Now let's take it over here. Let me use a different color. Let's take it over here and let's say you didn't work out for those 60 minutes and those 60 minutes could take a lot out of your day and you were still at the 1800 calories, right? Let's just say you didn't have 1800 calories that day. You limited yourself to 1600 calories that day. Okay. So you're not doing the exercise. You're literally just consuming 200 calories less. And that could be something as minimal as a handful of nuts. Literally, a handful of nuts is 200 calories. Okay, guys? So this one, you're also in a caloric deficit of 200 calories. So both of these examples come out to be in a deficit of 200 calories, which literally means that they're losing the same amount of weight. And one person is doing it by just consuming 200 calories less in their day rather than go to the gym for 60 minutes only to add another 200 calories to my diet. Does that make sense? I hope it does because I really want to explain this to you guys. And once you get it, it is so simple. All you really have to do is eat less. Guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about weight loss. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like, comment if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to keep making those games. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though no. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though no.